all right folks so today we um just wanted to share with you guys if any of you guys living on catchment systems especially out here in hawaii and uh, big island this is a greenway uv light this is a gu vl i forget but it's the greenway i think 20 30 watt but re i've had this only you know only about three years maybe four years and it started to leak water inside and uh, um the water popped my brand new bulb it was only like 100 days old so i just wanted to show you guys that what looks like happens is on this top part here where the bulb slides in you get corrosion and water damage what that does is throws this o-ring and as this uh quartz tube slides up you, your bulb won't your uv bulb won't go all the way down so you'll start trying to push it down and push it down to get your uh, clip to sit here good. And what you end up doing is cracking the crystal. This thing costs 40 bucks. So next time, if you're starting to notice that your UV bulb does not go in to the system properly, what you need to do is probably like drain your water system, of course, and then uh, remove this cap. I'm starting to clean it. I just cleaned up this. I'm going to clean this guy out. Be very careful with this crystal not to crack it, but probably um, remove this crystal, clean all this stuff up nice and good, and then reset your sleeve. Yeah, this is the sleeve back inside and uh, put it at the proper depth using your O-ring and putting it in. There's a spring on the other side of this, if you can see it in there. Anyway, there's a spring that that has to center in. You'll feel it. Maybe look in this side when you put it in. Make sure the uh, it's centered and there's also a spring of course in there that um, your bulb your UV bulb will uh, sit on but if you're noticing you're putting your again for the last time if you're putting your bulb in and you notice you're hearing it hit the spring on the bottom of your court sleeve but it's not going all the way down mm -hmm. it's probably because the sleeve itself is sticking too high up above this and um, if you keep jamming that in, you're going to end up cracking that $40 sleeve like I did. And then you're going to have to buy another $100 bulb like I did. So that's the two parts for this Greenway. All right, hope that helps any of you guys that are trying to troubleshoot what's going on with your Greenway uh, UV light. Have a great day.